I'm like a wolf cause my pack never goes astray So all my enemies are nothing but entities Steadily moving with the bird that killed Kennedy March through the violence and knowing that every time it's so fuck it I'ma get it that I be hard What's up guys, me and Poppy Rick We are back at it with the Assassin's Creed that ass in Creed. Let's go. Just got a room remodeled, so sorry if nothing came out today on Monday. I'm gonna try my best to get something out tomorrow on Tuesday, but if it doesn't, just understand that I, like I said, I just got myself a new room. No, not new room, but my dad's a contractor, and I told my dad, hey, listen, hey, can you, you know, help a brother out by fixing up my room? Because before, um, me having this room by myself, I actually used to share this room until I was like 21 with my sister. She just moved out about like nine to 10 months ago. So now I have this room to myself. But because of how things were stationed, you know, to separate my stuff with her stuff, we had a, a little, um, I forgot this English way of saying it. Um, A shelf there you go we had a shelf that was in the same exact location and was not moved physically for like nine years and because of that when we finally moved it after all those years I guess a like years of dirt embedded the wall and it was like uncleanable and you will see like a big black stain on my room if you like if you follow my Twitter you'll see it right there like of my before and after so it's my dad listen i'm i don't like i said i'm getting my my setup i have my i already have most of my stuff I have my webcam here i already have my monitor here i have speaker set up so everything is like generically here i have my keyboard i'm just missing the pc that's about it that should be on its way soon but the point i'm trying to make is that if i'm gonna be live streaming or using webcam It'd be kind of, kind of embarrassing to have like a big ass black mole on behind me. And you can see the black stain on my wall, and I ain't with that. So I told my dad, "Hey, listen, do you think you could you know, help me out?" And then on top of that, I never had a door. Low key embarrassing, but I never had a door. I had like a little sliding Japanese type of door where it's like no type of fucking privacy. And when I talk, or if I try to record, if there's anybody in the living room, there's anybody in uh, the dining room, or even if someone's talking in the fucking kitchen, which is the other side of the house, you can hear the person in my room. And sometimes it might get picked up on the mic. So there's so many times where you see like unnecessary cut jumps, it's because unfortunately there's audio in the background that fucked up the scene. Yeah. Oh. Lorenzo and his wife. Lorenzo. But I have my white. Um, my wall used to be white. Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. Not to strike. Crepa! Territore! Ah! That face. Giuliano! No! Ah! I'm gonna get, I'm getting stabbed to death. God damn. Your day is done, Lorenzo. Your entire family dies by my sword. Okay. It's been a minute since I played this game. Sorry. Oh. I'm trying to remember how to fucking dodge and come on, you can do this. Ah! 
Ah, there you go. Okay, there you go. Now you're doing it. You're doing it. There you go. Now you're remembering. Ah. We're gonna continue this fucking battle where I'm gonna just mass or ultra instinct on your ass. Come on, bro. Come on. Just stop. Can I? He ran away, you let him run away? Oh! Bruh, fuck off of him. You saved my life. It's nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah, not now. You I got stabbed in the neck? To my home. Uh, people I trust them. Can you? That adrenaline kicks in, you don't feel no pain. But once that adrenaline wears off, boy, that pain. That's what I always believe. Pain is a mind thing. I honestly believe pain is a mind trick. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a course. We're almost there now. Cause if you think about it... You could, you could go hours of not feeling any pain, but the moment you see or look at a, a cut in your arm or whatever, you feel it. Right or wrong? Oh crap, I didn't mean to hit. I th that's a good person. Okay, just. We so wanna make sure. Um. Bring that ass over here, man. Okay. There you go. Oh god. Wow. I admit combat can be avoided. I'm more than capable of Come on, come on. Ooh. Yeah, like I stated, I changed my room, my color used to be white, now it turned from white to like a like really, really, really sky blue. Lorenzo's been wounded. Aprite la porta. What's the password? Polizia, open the maledetta porta. By the Christ, greatest, come in quickly. The city is at war. Hurry. Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah, you're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh, Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. It takes an Auditore to win.
But yeah, before I hit try and go to continue to do the story. <sighs> I did my ceiling and did my walls. Um, got myself a door. Like I said, I never had a door. I had like a little Japanese sliding door. Couldn't have no privacy. Now I have privacy in the locks and yada yada yada. Have a lot of my, I have a lot of my materials now. This is just waiting for my PC. And my flash drive. Behind me, I have shelves. No. I'm sorry, I had. I just had to. I'm sorry. Uh, behind me, I have shelves where I put like my consoles. I have. I have a Sega Genesis. I have a regular Sega. I have a PS One, all the way down to the four. I have my Nintendo 64 and my D Nintendo GameCube that's also on my shelf. And I do have other handheld devices like you know, my DS, DSi, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. And I'm thinking if I should put it on my shelf as well. Also, I got myself a PSP, the original one. Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go before it's too late. Do what you can. But I managed to do all this. Like I said, my dad is such amazing help because like said, he didn't he didn't charge me for labor, which is like something I'm like surprised of. He only charged me for the materials, and him being a great contractor, he he has um friends at like Home Depot, or has friends in Lowe's. Oh, what the fuck? Why you hit bitch? Why you hit me for? Nah, nah, I'm gonna kill you. Nope. Oh, you took away my. Now I'm fine. Murder your friend. I would just walk in and just got fucking bitch max. Didn't fucking do anything. Okay, there you go. Try and get my notoriety away. And I also have like rope lights coming in as well and what else did I get? Oh, I'm getting a green screen. Well, not like a, a official, official green screen, but more that it's a. Fuck! Are you stupid? It's not like I said, not a green screen. It's more that it's like a yeah. It's for, it's an attachment for your chair. Cause I saw like an actual green screen, like a low like a like a mat, not a mat, like a stand. That shit expensive. Just for a panel of green? That shit's like 180 bucks. I'm like, hell no. So I'm settling I'm gonna settle with a I'm just gonna settle with that little thing that's gonna go around my chair. Because that was like like fifty five dollars. And depending on like, how I like my room. I don't know, I might just do streams with, you know, no green screen and then just videos with green screen. Just to make it, I don't know, balance. Anyways, how have you guys been? Let me know in the comments. I've been trying to be more active ever since, like I said, now that I'm actually done with this whole fucking room. Like, this whole weekend, I had, like, no time for myself. I, I I was active in the premieres of both the compilations I did, but I wasn't as you know active as I wanted to be. Same thing for my Discord. I want to be more. I want to be more active in my Discord. I'm more active in my uh, Twitter, Instagram. But now that I have all my you know, stuff coming in, and it's, it's like, oh my god, guys, you have no idea all the amazing ideas I have that will come to life soon. I'm trying to get like um, an actual switch. Because right now I just have the, the, the switch light. I'm trying to do some drunk Mario Kart or some drunk Mario Party. Like, I know some real shit. Who like who who will be down for that? You again? Why aren't you dead, man? Slaughter him. He look like Captain Hook. Okay, 
Can I climb this way? No. Of course. You gotta go down. Oh my god, can I, can I? There you go, now you can't, you tell me you can't climb that up. They're really pacing back and forth like that? Nah, I can't do, I can't do this just sneaky. Um. Come on, come on, hit me. Oh, okay, so I gotta use a sword. So when I use a fucking hammer like that, I gotta use I gotta use my sword. And go get this fucking feather for my brother who passed away. If you fucking fall, I am going to arrest you in real life. <coughs> Fuck! <coughs> I inhaled too damn deeply. Oh my god. Can you stop being the auto retard? Oh my god, I'm getting I'm I'm getting ir irritated. Come on, you could do this. Go up this wall, climb up, climb up, climb up. Do you have to like do this and then? You really good. I found dead. You found nothing. Mind your business. Can I sneak up on him? Guards! Guards! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Oh, he did, he did a leap of faith? Do I just gotta tackle him? What the hell? What the f Was that not- Am I supposed to actually like Kill him kill him? I thought you were to tackle him or whatever And then do what you gotta do Boy if you don't Come on Bitch! Fuck! I gotta fucking censor that. Damn it. Oh my god, you're such a whore. Climb, climb faster, come on. You're good at. You're good at. Catching up with him, 
But why can't I just fucking... Oh my god, finally! Bitch! Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. That was all the. That was all the. Comment we're gonna get from him? <laughs> uh oh. We're getting synchronize uh synchronize synchronization whatever you call it. Ah, uh, there you go, that's dope. Boom. Whenever it comes to transitions like that, it'll be from like Kingdom Hearts or from Assassin's Creed or anything that does like does like little transitions or slow mos. I always try my best to end it with something mad cool. I'm content with that. I'm happy with that. Republica Fiorentina. 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 There you go. So my my English is not English. My Spanish is horrible. So you are going to get like times where I could translate some things that's in Italian into Spanish. So you guys could broaden your knowledge at certain things. Before I start that mission, I also am going to uh, fix my gear. Where is the... Okay. Oh, it's right there. Trying to get to, uh, to, there you go. I forgot what you call these. There you go, restore. Can I get better armor? Oh, I can. Ooh. I'll get that. That's way better armor. Weapon. Captain Sword, I'll get that. I don't really fuck with small weapons, so I'm good on that. Ammunition, got all of that. Alright. I'm Gucci like Tunchi. What's that little mark of cane on the, on the thing? Templar Lair. Oh, I kind of remember these things now. Okay, so before I move on... Oh, that snake is like a whole big new area. Ooh, what's this? Oh, isn't this to... No, that's Tuscany. That's to go back to the villa. Alright, so let me just do this as Templar layer. Wait. Your th value increases when the more weapons you buy? Hmm. Hmm. How about with this stuff? So if I buy... So if I buy... Those stuff, do I increase my value as well? I do! Ah, that's one fast way to get more money. Okay. Mm, should I travel back just to collect that payment? Ah, wow. Okay.
What's this? Taylor. I know a guy named Taylor. Part of me low-key thinks I should travel back to Montgomery. Just to collect the stuff. Because if I gotta do this layer, it's gonna take probably 10 to 15, probably 20 minutes. So with me collecting my thing since it's quote unquote full, I could come back and make more money. And since I do have more money, I could upgrade more stuff to get more money. Okay, that's my, I'm about to do that right now. I can't wait to get into Brotherhood. Brotherhood is my favorite. Out of all Ezio. Ooh, what? There's a, there's a tomb here? Oh, no, no, no. Let's put the, the plates away. Okay, okay. Never mind. Mm. Oh, I'm too broke now. What the hell? Oh no, never mind. Oh no, so that is a tomb I could go into. Hey, but Shall we take a look at the list? Buenos dias, come on. What can I do? For five thousand oh wait. The well. There you go. I wanna get that. I wanted to get that out the way. And then when I get like i I'm gonna get like mad fucking money. I'm not gonna spend no money on anything. I'm gonna come back and just purchase all this shit. Just one, one two, three. Four thousand, wow. And then I'll just put that, wow. I'm not gonna solve it yet, I don't have all of them yet. Wow, 19 out of 30. Good shit, Ezio. Press Ah, so that's why it increases the value. So when I also want to buy the weapons, they get put here. Okay. Why is this shit making me feel like I'm playing Animal Crossing? How they spend all this fucking money to make my fucking village better? Instead of being a village, is a fucking villa. Speaking about, yeah, speaking about Animal Crossing, I just beat Animal Crossing, quote unquote, where the story where you need like KK Slider, whatever his damn name is, to come in to perform for your village or your island. So, I got that done. And now I can finally start customizing the island how I want to customize. And that's one other question. I do want to get a Switch soon. Would you guys want me to stream Animal Crossing in the near future. Like, like just like for like just chill streams. Where I just chit chat with ya and then just talk with ya and then whatever the case with ya. And you get to see me how like you can see how bad I am. I was raised in a small house by the Venetian Lagoon. Within sight of the rough formed cat waves of the, of the sea, when I was barely old enough to walk, I became a sailor, navigating the Atlantic first as an apprentice, and then while carrying cargo from my father's Patreon, Messer Marco Polo. It was a good life. Marco Polo? What? Why does that sound familiar? And I'm talking about the damn fucking Marco Polo. I ain't talking about I ain't talking about that. Ah, okay, this is the Yahoo! The Mario jump. Just fucking jump. 
When I don't want you to jump, you fucking don't jump. When I do want you to jump, you don't want to jump. Like, that's you. Make up your fucking mind. One day, while ashore in the harbor, looking for work. I don't know why. It's not like the damn Italian man who wants a Malta. One a day, I'm going to Malta to big a hotel. Okay, just that one day part just made me uh, remember that. I fell in love. She was barely 20. 20. Just be happy. It was not 12. But when I looked into her eyes, the whole world was reflected back, clearer and brighter than the sun. After that, I still went to sea. But my heart remained on land with the girl who became my wife and our young son. Hold up. But my heart remained on land with the girl who had became my wife and our young son. So she became your son? What the fuck? See? You see how guys are so poetic back then? It's like nowadays, you just see a girl like, damn bitch, you are, your ass fat. Damn bitch, you thicker than a snicker. Damn bitch, you thicker than oatmeal. And then boom. <laughs> Imagine just going to one of these damn. <laughs> Imagine a thousand years from now, like obviously because this is from what was the year again? It says twelve something. It was like twelve sixty three. Imagine like a thousand years from now, a fucking relic of a fucking iPhone is found in the sands, eighteen feet deep, into the damn core of the earth. Someone revives it. Unlocked is like, oh my god, what type of what type of language or how do you how did they used to interact? And all you see, damn bitch, you fine as fuck. Damn bitch. You thicker than fucking oatmeal. I wanna I wanna eat your booty like groceries. They're like, what the fuck? This is the language of the gods. One afternoon that summer, Messier Polo Call me into his studies. <laughs> I, I know where this is going. What are you doing, step My father was already there, besides an older man dressed in a strange hooded cap watching us. Oh, yes, Daddy. At that moment, everything ab about my life changed. My father told me that he was an assassin. Removing his ring, he showed me a strange marking on his finger, explaining that our family came from an ancient order that protected and defended mankind. He paused, and then, when I didn't speak, Mr. Polo stepped forward. He told me that the stranger in the hood would teach me. In return, I would carry him across the Mediterranean to Spain. And so began my apprenticeship with Dante Alighieri, one that was to destroy every bit of happiness I would ever have. I like how the fucking police sirens went in the background when I said that. So this is the tomb of the auditory. Oh, this is still going. Oh, I gotta I gotta fucking whole ass. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> I'll be so mad if this shit just falls on top of me. Uh oh, another thing. In preparation for our voyage, Monsieur Ali Hedy met with me repeatedly. At first, our meetings weren't about purchasing supplies, but soon they became about higher things about life, love, honor, and justice. Is this fucking Batman? He told me that. Society was set up in such a way as to control its members. To stop us from thinking, from seeing. Soon, I could look past all the laws and illusions. Understood that mankind was being used by its rulers. That we, the people, deserved freedom. It was then that Dante began showing me pages from a book that Monsieur Polo had brought back from the palace of the great Genghis Khan. The manuscript... The Codex. What about our order? The Assassins. 
I'm trying to put more enthusiasm and feelings into the dam. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Swim, motherfucker, swim, 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 swim. There you go. Look around, see how you're gonna go about. Can you jump and hit that? No. So before you and hit that, you gotta think how you're gonna jump up there. What the fuck? So you gotta go on this ledge, and then go like that? There you go. All right. And then you're gonna go up here. Okay. I wanna do shit like this. Like I wanna like I low key. Ever since a kid, I always loved playing Tomb Raider. That was like one of my first games I ever played. Holy shit! Tomb Raider was like my first, like one of my first games. Um, I hate this fucking angle that you're giving me because I can't fucking work like that. Oh no. There's a chest up there. Fuck. Fuck. Wait, can I go back? I could go back. <gasps> okay, good, 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 good. Okay, I'm gonna go back for that chest. How does one? No, you're gonna. When I want you to jump and fucking leap of faith, you don't want to. But God damn it! Can I? How do- What the fuck? Oh wait! Can I- Ah! Ah! There you go! That's how you do it! But yeah, like, ever since I was a kid, I was always fascinated with, um... No, Laura Croft, and then when they release um, Uncharted, I was, oh my god, I was so rock hard. And like, I'm still to this day waiting for a fucking crossover with Tomb Raider and Uncharted. I heard, obviously, I know that's most likely rumors and not real, or whatever the case may be. Might get a movie. I, I don't fucking know. But I think that would be dope. Tomb Raider and... Uncharted combined together. Nothing over here. Okay. As Monsieur Polo ushered me out the door. Ushered. Caught up. Oh. Oh, I didn't even see that damn one dash two. Wow, our planned voyage never took place. While returning to Ravana, Ravenana, whatever, Ravana, to pick up the remainder of his belongings, Dante died. Wow, dismayed at the loss of my mentor, I went to re inform my father, and Mr. Polo, the sad news. Before I could even speak, I was ushered into the study room, and my father, his face white, locked the door behind me. Shocked, I listened in silence as he spoke. Dante intended to take the Codex to Spain where I would be safe, but he was being watched. The enemy of the assassins, the Knights Templar, still existed. I recall the stories he had told me of the Templars, and it all became clear. Dante had been murdered. The Templars knew about the Codex, and they knew about us. Shaking, my father told me to take the Codex and leave this for Spain at once with my wife and child. 
Okay, then that's when that part comes into place. As Mr. Polo ushered me at the door, he handed me a small piece of paper with a number on it. With this number, I could draw on his credit more dukes than I have ever seen in my life at any bank in Italia. Okay, I'm just retarded. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna put this down. And where am I gonna go? Am I gonna go up? Alright, let's see. Oh, these new headphones are comfortable. Alright, so up, 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 swing, jump, jump, swing, swing. Da, da, da. Okay. Come on, come on, go. Ah. Awesome. This is this another way for you to open that way? Hmm. Why is this shit hiding from me? There should be a reason for all Ah. I hear it. There you go. Okay. Sometimes being curious is good. C can you fucking fall? The hell? We still sell that night. The ship filled with cargo to sell in the markets of Barcelona. Hey, Barcelona. I'm gonna go to Barcelona. At first, all, but, all was well. Then, to avoid a coming storm, we laid anchor in the old Toronto Harbor. Cloaked in darkness, the pirates came. I didn't see them until they were already boarding my ship. I hid my family in the hold. Pulling out the codex, I ran the worn leather covered through the hands, then I broke the spine. The pages slid silently onto the floor. I scattered them into the chest, boxes, and container I was carrying to the market. The men who found us were drunk. I could smell it on their breath. When they asked for the codex, I knew who had sent them. Holding back my rage, I said that I had thrown them overboard. They started to laugh. Two held me down, st still grinning, but the rest cut off my wife's clothes. Oh no. She begged for mercy until her voice gave out. <gasps> Once they were done, they threw her into the sea. They took my cargo and sunk my ship and left me adrift, clinging to a piece of railing. I made it to the beach with my son. My wife's body washed up on shore the next morning with the tide. Oh my god. This is why Loki and Nerim, I don't want to be born, be born in this time period because they do a lot of shit to your wife. And oh my god. If anybody touches my girlfriend, I am going to jail and prison and fucking mental interest to asylum and, and all things. You gotta lock me in a bunker. Because that is my woman. That is my babies. And God bless America if anybody try to fucking... Anybody try to hurt that. Come on, come on, go. Fuck. There you go. I never saw the sea again. Making my way to Florence. I rented a small room and then visited the bank. I memorized Apollo's account number. Damn. With the vast sum I now had at my disposal, I went to Venice in disguise to find my father. I returned to Florence the next day. Both Polo and my father were already dead. From that moment forward, I collected treaty. Oh, I collected treaties on architecture. Studied the classics. I took vocal lessons. I adopted the name Auditore, impersonating a noble at the Florent uh, Florentine court. Accepted as one of their own, I took on trappings of my nobility and constructed this villa for me and my son. And then, I haunted them. I raised my son to fight to find the Codex and to kill Templars. Together we could regain the honor of my wife and avenge the death of my father. Two debts that would never 
that can never be repaid. To the auditore that reads this, remember that you are not a nobleman. You are not one of the deceivers. You are not one of the people. Avenge us. Say less, grandpappy of the grandpappy. I'm not sure how far back this was, but. Yes. Got that. You got that. Hey, another one. You got that. You got more money. That's it. It was just story. There was no. I thought step on their thingy. That's it. Only two thousand dollars. I went all this for two thousand dollars. There's no seals. There's no me opening this chest and then seeing what's inside. That's a bunch of belugas. To, to explore an area that you never been to just to just like have that much faith okay I see you trust your family eagles indicate the presence of viewpoints ah so when you hear the little that means the eagle nearby that means the viewpoint nearby the hell Ah. Okay. I guess. Ah. So you do get an increase of money, but that amount that I see or you do see is from the maximum you can actually hold. Ah, now it makes a little more sense. I'll see all oh, plus 6,000, plus 400. And I only get like 1700 in there. Ah, uh, so that just adds on to the maximum I could hold. Let me see, what else? Is there anything else I could put away? Ah, grab the money. Architecture. Come on, take the money. And get the fuck out. I'm, I'm gonna rim your dad, stop. <laughs> Bitch! I'm trying to think. We have Assassin's Creed. And obviously, I know here and there they do things from like real life. Do you think we ever get like a. a, a modern day Assassin's Creed? Because obviously, everything we've done is take place in the past. Wouldn't it be kind of cool to have a modern day Assassin's Creed game? Where you do a travel by car because if you think about it, if you play Syndicate, you kind of sort of travel by car. Like you technically travel by car, which that car was like more like by the horses, whatever. So they have the mechanics to make, you know, vehicles. And like I said, they have a lot of people, you have, you know, villages, and you have the townspeople, and yada yada yada. Hmm. I don't know, that's just, that's just a thought. So I'm, I'm open to a lot of ideas, or suggestions, or ideas, or all that kind of stuff. So I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm down for that. Like I, said, I would love Assassin's Creed, and a lot of games are ending soon. Like I, said, I didn't. I heard that the story of The Last of Us was leaked. I didn't read anything because I'm not trying to spoil myself at all. But apparently, it's not going to live up to the name of The Fortune of The Last of Us, which is, sounds sad. And like I said, we have a lot of games that are ending. Like, obviously, Jack and Baxter is not going to continue. Highly Dow, after all this ordeal, The Last of Us is not going to continue. God, I know God of War is going to continue because of. You know how they how they ended it, which they're going to continue the I guess North mythology. Can you climb. 
Motherfucker, you're not allowed anywhere. Shut up. Fudge. How do you search bodies? Oh. It's been a minute since I played this game, so give, give me, give me. There's no excuse. Can you move? What? Wasn't this Paola's thingy? No. Look at me, I mean words on my wrist The shame that is colorless, the energy is ominous Dueling with some monsters like Kaibo with the obelisk Told my decisions with perceptions of my visions I really do believe that everyone's some bitches Time comes